Welcome back guys, it's Frisky and today we're going to do a disassembly on a little North American Arms LR22. Um, there's quite a few videos online but I didn't see anything I liked so we're going to make our own tools for this job. Uh, you want some electrical tape or duct tape, something thick, needle nose pliers, I'm going to use some vice grips on this. Uh, tweezers, screwdriver, little screwdriver, and then a, a big one with a fine tip if you've got it. Want to be real careful is not to mar some of these screws. Um, already done a safety check, we're empty. To disassemble, you're just going to slide that out. Cylinder pops out. Once you cock that a little bit, set those aside. And the grips are easy, you just got to screw there, normal thread careful not to mar everything up grips pop off just like that, we're not worried about these so we're going to set them aside Let's see. now this guy here you can do one of two ways, I've noticed some guys online um, they were popping this this spring out, both springs out. I don't, I didn't like that way. It mars up this inner edge, and you know some people may not care. So go ahead and do it that way if you want. But first thing I do is I'm going to pop that secondary spring out. We're going to leave this one alone. And let's see, this guy right here. You've got to be real careful. We don't want to mar the finish around. I don't care. There's some scratches on this anyway and we're going to refinish this entire gun um, but this is a reverse thread so you have to make sure you crank it clockwise if you go counterclockwise you're just going to get it real tight being real careful I don't want to put any digs in the middle Okay, I've got it loose. Um, there's spring tension on it. So very carefully, I'm just going to grab it with some needle nose. And I'm going to press the hammer down. I'm going to put some pressure down in this direction. And that's going to pop right out. We are going to coat this. This gun's getting coated. So I'm, so I'm going to set that aside and in my coating pile. So now that that spring tension is off the hammer and it's popped up, you can see nothing lines up anymore. And this, um, I'm still not going to worry about that primary spring. This whole face plate is going to come off. And the best way to do that, my best way to do that, is I just take a little screwdriver in there and very lightly lift it. You have to lift it fairly even because it's held on by a couple of pins. So just like that. Now that that falls off. That's real nice and easy. And then carefully I'm going to drop it. Lift off the face plate. That's going to get coated. It's going in the coating pile. And then you've got this guy. Now the spring I just dropped is the spring you don't want to lose. You want to do this over a table or something. I don't know if it, this will focus. There you go, it's tiny. And that little spring goes in the back of the hammer assembly. I'm not going to take all this apart. You can see how it goes together. Um, basically there's a pin here there's this this spring that winds around and, and puts pressure on your uh, your little piece that rotates the cylinder. And when it sits in the gun, it, it sits something like that. But we're going to leave it all in one piece. If it falls out, it's not a big deal. It's pretty easy to see what you're doing. We're not going to coat that. 
I wouldn't recommend coating the hammer assembly. Now, this guy, um, there's a pin in here that's just loose. This pin, just leave it alone. You can leave that in. The best way to get it out is you've got to get pressure off, off this guy right here. So I think the best way I've figured out is you can pop this up just like that and that takes a lot of pressure off and usually you can just tip that over and bump it and you've got your tiny little pin that goes with the piece that holds your cylinder in place. And we're not going to coat any of those, we'll put them over in their own pile. And then the trigger, it's real simple, there's a little spring, it just pops up off that, off that pin if, if we focus. And that's basically it. Uh, there's a little spring you don't want to lose as well. We're not coating the trigger. So now all the springs are removed. Um, everything that we're not going to coat is off and everything we're going to coat is going back on. And that's basically the disassembly now for you coat guys out there or other coatings guys. I'm not going to worry about the inside. Cerakote gets a little bit gummy, I've found, with friction, uh, with the grease and grime getting in there. So I'm not going to coat it. So I'm going to put this back together. And we're going to coat it just, just like that. Plug the barrel, of course, and you're off. I'll do a reassembly video either as part of this one or, yeah, I'll probably just do it as part of this one. Now all the other videos I saw put this together in a way I didn't like. Um, so we'll get to that point where I'm going to do it different and you can decide how you want to do it yourself. The first thing we're going to need to do is make sure all of our components are back in our, in our hammer piece. And most of those, all of them, You're gonna have two springs, a coil spring, and whatever you call that spring, a detent, and your little uh, your little lever arm that rotates your cylinder. First thing to go back in. If they fell out, if you don't have to take them out, don't take them out. Um, there's only one direction that this can go in. If you look down there, you can see a little step in. See in this hole right there, and this is T-shaped, so it's got to fit that way. Maybe. There we go. So that fits in like that. And then your little coil spring goes in there as well. Now that's easy to lose, so I suggest working over Somewhere if you drop it, you can find it again or have a clean floor if you're that lucky. Um, then back on this side, your lever arm goes in that hole. And this guy, you have tweezers right there you can pick it up with. This guy. pops in like that. None of this sticks very well and it's a pain in the butt so it's probably going to fall out more than once. But if I can hold it all steady your whole assembly looks something like that. And just set that aside and leave it as is for now. The first thing we're going to want to do is if your spring hasn't fallen out put your trigger back on the main post here. It just pops on like that. And then I like to, or I like to do things different. I like to do this piece next. With, uh, with this piece is associated that tiny, that tiny little pin. And I found the easiest way 
is to set this in like that. Set that in like that. I'm sorry if you couldn't see that. And then drop your pin in. Sometimes you gotta wiggle it around. There, so that pin sits nice and flush. And you can probably just leave it out of the way for now without any tension on that spring. Next is one of the hardest parts. It is sliding this whole assembly. I'm trying to do this so you can see it. I'm sliding this whole assembly in while trying to keep every spring down and every arm in position. I, I like to keep my thumb about there to keep pressure on this arm, which I found holds all the, the other guts in place. And then I like to push the hammer into the, uh, you know, closed position. And then you've got your main spring. This is where I do things different. All the other guys will get to this point. They'll put, they'll put this cover back on so everything stays put. And then they'll try and fish this in from the outside. You know, coming from this direction. But basically they'll fish it up and then cram it into there. And I, I've noticed it galls this surface up a lot. At least in this pistol, it just doesn't have the room. And there's a tiny little... Let's see if I can do this without ruining things there's a tiny little groove that you need to get the tip of this into and that is if I can get it to focus right there that guy right there so if you I just found it was a lot harder to get get it into that groove once everything was put into place so with the hammer out of position and pushed forward I can get the front piece, maybe. I'll do this where you guys can see it. There. Almost. See if I can. There. So, this end of the spring is in here. Our front part, even though you can't see it because my thumb's in the way, is in its groove. So then I go ahead and I let the hammer push back a little bit. Not too much, but at least a little bit. And that way it puts pressure on it and you can confirm you're in that groove. Now, without popping this curvy little spring up and losing everything, if this is where this one's got enough play in it, it fits around that that guy. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not, but it does, and we're going to use it to our advantage on this pistol. Then finally, we're going to put the plate on. And hope everything doesn't move. Pinch a little of my skin in there. So now, all that's left to do, everything's still in place, that spring's in place, you know, but nothing's moved. Um, nothing's popped out of place yet. So I like to keep pressure with my thumb on this plate and try and line that hole up as best as I can and then we're going to drop our screw in and this gets tricky it's a lot of guessing and looking Getting things close. So 
see if we can help it here. Oh no, don't do that. And of course, don't do that. Scratch up your coating. I'll get this lined up right and then I'll bring you back. Okay, that took some force, but I did it. I didn't scratch my coating, so we're doing good. There we go. Go ahead and... Sorry, the lighting sucks, I know. I'll have to fix that for the next one. Tighten that up. Use the better fitted screwdriver to give it a little extra. Do a function test. Seems to work. Go ahead and throw the grips on while we're here. These stag ones just fit in, they have little cutouts, put it back together like you go to puzzle. Good and tight. Drop the painted cylinder in. Maybe. Okay, so you end up pulling your hammer back to what would be like a mini half cock. It gets everything out of the way. Slide your cylinder in. Make sure it's centered up. Drop your pin. Do a quick function check. Seems to be working just fine. That's it for this video and we'll catch you on the next one.